In this video, we'll be going over the physical connections on the 828 and how to hear yourself through monitoring. On the front panel, you'll find two combo jack inputs. Use these for connecting an XLR microphone, a guitar, or line level input source. Use these gain knobs to adjust the input level. If you're using a condenser microphone that requires phantom power, push the 48 volt button to activate it for that input. If your input source is coming in too hot right away, use the pad button to decrease the input gain by minus 20 dB. Then, gain up your signal from there. The two phones jacks are for connecting headphones. Use the knob above it to adjust the volume. Use the main volume knob to control the main outs, which should be connected to your main studio monitors. On the back of the 828, you'll find many other connection types. Starting on the back right, these are the inserts for each mic input. These allow you to add outboard gear, such as an analog compressor, to your mic channel. Connect the send to the input of your outboard device and connect its output to the return. These connectors are balanced, so you can use a balanced TRS cable. Next are the additional line inputs 3 through 10. These inputs are for powered line level audio sources like synthesizers, keyboards, mixers, and external outboard gear. Note that these are not for connecting guitars or quarter inch microphones. Next are the XLR main outputs. This is where you would connect your primary stereo monitors. After the main outs are the additional line outputs 3 through 10. Use these to send audio to things like additional studio monitors, external outboard gear, a mixer, another recording device, and more. Note that these outputs are DC coupled so they can be used for CV control of analog synths. Next is the foot switch input. You can use the QMix 5 app to program it to send keystrokes to your host software running on your computer or iPad. For example, you could use a foot switch for hands-free punch-in and punch-out during recording. You can program a separate keystroke for pedal down and pedal up. Next are the MIDI jacks for connecting to MIDI controllers and synthesizers. Remember, connect out to in and in to out. Next, you'll find SPDIF and optical connectors for digital I.O., 8-channel ADAT optical I.O., and expanding to other digital sources. Finally, you have word clock I.O. for syncing the 828 to other devices in your studio. Sync ensures clean, noise-free digital transfers and also eliminates drift between the 828 and other devices. Now that you're familiar with the connection types, let's talk about monitoring. To monitor an input, open the QMix 5 app on your computer. On the Home tab, you should see a picture of your 828 and some basic controls. Below that, you'll find the Input Monitoring section. Here, you'll find three rows for main out 1 and 2, and both headphone outs. Click the number for the input you'd like to hear. For instance, if I want to hear mic 1 through my headphones, I'd click number 1 here. If I want to hear line input 3 and 4 through my main outs, I'd click 3 and 4 here. This patches the signal through the 828 hardware itself from the inputs directly to the outputs and makes it easy to quickly hear yourself in real time. The input signal is simultaneously sent to the computer to be recorded in your DAW software. To avoid unwanted doubling of live input signals, turn off audio patch through in your DAW software. In Performer Lite, choose Studio Menu, Audio Patch Through, Off. In Ableton Live Lite, click Off under the Monitoring section of the track. In the next video, we'll dive into the additional features of QMix 5. Thanks for watching.